Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris bringing you another how-to. Uh, this one's on Adobe Premiere. Uh, I get a lot of people inquiring um, on a daily basis of how I get such great visual fidelity for my videos. And uh, well, first off, I use Fraps for all my recordings. I sometimes use DX Tori, but a majority of the time I use Fraps. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a very good system, so it doesn't bog down my system. And uh, I like Fraps because it's pretty much an uncompressed recording device. Um, with Adobe Premiere though, um, what I want to show you is basically my settings for achieving, um, my visual fidelity for my uploads. And first thing you're going to want to do is create a preset and see, I've, I've created one called YouTube gaming. And what this is, is this matches, um, my same settings for what I record at. I record at 60 frames per second and I maintain my project at 60 frames per second the entire way. Second, um, since I record at 1920 by 1080, um, that is my video settings along, again, maintaining at 60 frames per second and at the square pixel setting. Um, I, my audio settings are set at 48 kilohertz um, since that's what I record at, since it's only YouTube. <laughs> and um, from, uh, from here, I'll show you the further settings uh, that I use when I go to encode a video. Well, here I've created a small clip just so you guys can kind of see exactly what settings I use. So when you go to export the media, um, be sure to use the H.264 format, not the Blu-ray version, but the standard H.264. And when you go to video, um, set the resolution of the video. If since this is going to be on YouTube, um, most a majority of people record at 1920 by 1080. If you haven't, you'll have to rescale it in Adobe Premiere, which which I I might cover in another video. But for right now, since this video is recorded at 1920 by 1080, that will be the frame width and height. Now, in terms of frame rate, uh, since I recorded at 60 frames per second, that is exactly what my export is going to be. Uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and your profile, which is your um, your algorithm for compression and for chroma, I set to high. Next. I select render at maximum depth and for bitrate encoding I use variable bitrate single pass. Uh, dual pass is will deliver better visual fidelity but it really doesn't shine through on YouTube and I feel that since it doubles the time frame of encoding um, the benefits are very 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 minute in comparison to just running it in single pass. Now the one thing that is important is target bitrate and maximum bitrate. I see a lot of people um, state that they use eight and 10 megabytes per second, which is, which is fine. But just like with any encoding process, the better quality you feed it, meaning YouTube, the better quality of the results you're going to get when it comes out. And I've noticed that when I recorded and uploaded at eight and 10 megabytes per second, the visual fidelity was pretty poor. So um, I've noticed that setting it 20 seems to be a very, a very, um, a very balanced bit rate. Uh, now you can crank this up to 50 and 50 will give you better, a better visual fidelity on YouTube, but the upload size starts to become extremely huge, especially if your videos are over 15, 20 minutes. Um, the other thing that is also important is your maximum bit rate. This is your dynamic headroom for your, uh, for your videos. Now I've tested this before on just random videos I made just to kind of test out where the bitrate would go. And I have seen um, videos I've made with, with target bitrate set at 20 easily hit as high as 45 and 48 megabytes per second when this is cranked up to 50. So I like to give it a decent amount of dynamic headroom and I set it at 40. Now in terms of audio, I use AAC and I set my frequency at 48 kilohertz and I set my bit rate at 320 kilobytes per second. Um, from there, you are pretty much free to hit export and export it to whatever folder you want it to go to. So um, that's basically about it. If you have any other questions, uh, just let me know down in the comments below or send me a message and uh, I'll see you guys later.